Hello everyone. We would be presenting our work, that has been accepted in CVPR 2022. Sketch-based image retrieval, refers to the task of retrieving an image, relevant to a query sketch. Unlike category-level sketch-based image retrieval, which tries to fetch images of the category matching the query sketch. Fine-grained SBIR aims at retrieving a particular photo instance from a gallery of images of one category. Despite its significant success in recent times, sketch-based image retrieval is yet to realize its true potential. One of its main reasons, is an inherent fear amongst most users, that they can't sketch. A pilot study, however revealed otherwise. Given a complete sketch, we rendered intermediate partial sketches, at the end of every new stroke drawn, as the rasterized sketch image, and plotted retrieval accuracies accordingly, using a pre-trained FGSBIR model. We noticed some unexpected dips, in the performance in the later part, of the drawing episode. This signifies that later irrelevant strokes, are the actual culprit, behind degrading accuracy. If we can eliminate the noisy strokes, by selecting an optimal subset of strokes, we may obtain better accuracy, thus alleviating this fear of sketch. How to come about solving this problem? If we consider a naive solution of training with all possible subsets of strokes of sketch, we quickly realize, that although this may be possible theoretically, practically, this becomes infeasible as the number of strokes increase, due to the exponential complexity. Maybe train with randomly dropped strokes. Not really. This will induce noisy gradients during training, as out of all possible subsets, many such augmented sketch subsets, are too coarse or incomplete to convey any meaningful information, to represent the paired photo. The solution thus comes down to recognizing the noisy strokes, and eliminating them, to create meaningful set of strokes. To implement this, we propose a mechanism to quantify the importance of every stroke present in each stroke set, based on the extent to which that stroke is worthy for retrieval. Essentially, we propose a sketch stroke subset selector, that learns to determine a binary action for every stroke, whether to include that stroke, or not. We can also have a few extra benefits. A pre-trained stroke selector, can be used as a stroke importance quantifier, to guide users to draw a sketch minimally enough for successful retrieval. It can significantly speed up existing works on interactive on-the-fly retrieval setup. It can also act as a faithful sketch data augmenter, over random stroke dropping, without much computational overhead. Our framework has two modules connected in Cascade. A stroke subset selector, as a pre-processing module, working in vector space, and a pre-trained FGSBIR, that uses rasterized version, of predicted subset for final retrieval. The first module takes a sketch vector as input, and aims to produce an optimal subset of strokes. In the stroke subset selector, each stroke is first fed through a local stroke embedding network, with weights shared across strokes, and then via a global relational network, to enrich each stroke level feature about the global semantics. Problem rises in the realization, that there are no labels for the optimal subset, and that multiple subsets might lead to a successful retrieval. Hence, we use policy gradient from reinforcement learning literature, to overcome the non-differentiability of the rasterization operation, needed for subsequent retrieval. Subset stroke selector being a policy network, takes an action of selecting a stroke, and calculates a reward using pre-trained FGSBIR model as a critic. The reward is a weighted summation, of inverse of the rank, and negative triplet loss as shown. An actor critic version of proximal policy optimization, with clip surrogate objective, is used to train our stroke subset selector as shown. We evaluate our framework, on popular datasets of QMUL Shoes V2 and Chair V2. Apart from state of the arts, we design a few baselines, which focus on different perspectives of our motivation and design components. We evaluate our method from two perspectives. Firstly, we report fine-grained retrieval accuracy using standard top K accuracy. Secondly, we evaluate our performance in an on-the-fly retrieval setup, that shows our method's efficiency, in the early retrieval performance from partial sketch. Overall comparative analysis is shown here. The performance of augment baseline is slightly better than our baseline pre-trained FGSBIR as it learns some invariance. From augmented partial sketches. Despite their complex architectures, some state-of-the-arts are unable to beat the linear limit even. We observe our proposed method to outperform all others, second only to the obtainable upper limit here. The scalar value predicted by our critic network, signifies the retrieval ability of partial sketch, with the notion of higher being the better sketch. Figure shows correlation between score predicted by our critic network, and ranking percentile. Using categorical sampling of photos based on sketches, we can create multiple augmented versions of the same sketch to increase the training data size. Figure shows the corresponding performance of baseline retrieval model at varying training data size with our sketch augmentation strategy. We train an on-the-fly retrieval model from meaningful partial sketches augmented by our critic network that have a higher scalar score than 0.05 on ShuV2 data set. We can see that at very early few instances, our L fine-tuning performs better, while ours achieve a better performance as the drawing episode approaches completion. Figure qualitatively shows how our model performs under inherent low-magnitude noise existent in the ShuV2 data set. Evidently our selected subset's potential of retrieval accuracy is higher than the complete sketch. Considering extreme noisy scenario, we augment the training sketches by synthetic noisy patches, and train our subset selector, with a pre-trained retrieval model. During inference, noisy strokes are synthetically added, and passed through stroke subset selector, before feeding it to the retrieval model. Thanks.